That's a good many of them there though. I mean, that's yeah. quite a few. Would you mind holding this and just back a little ways? It, I don't have a stand to hold on to it. What you gonna do? If you would, just just set it there and let it, just watch what we're doing. Are you gonna film it? <laughs> yeah, just for the heck of it. Might as well. I'm doing the same thing. All right, let me get over here so I can see in front of y'all. So what do you do? Wet them? This is uh, that's a sugar water. Oh. In addition to sugar water, it's uh, got some honeybee healthy and some enzymes and different things like that right there. Oh, okay. Good for the bees. It mm. calms them down. Yeah. Oh, are they? Ooh, they're going crazy. Now, will they gather back up there? Hopefully, we got the queen in the box. Now, he'll probably cut a little hole in the box, and all the rest of them go to that queen. Yeah, really? Just a little while. So very few of them flying around, but all be in the box. And y'all didn't get stung? I had one buzz my ears. Not yet. What's the marks? Is that honey that come out of them, or what is that? Oh, that's where I spray the uh, sugar water. Oh, but and the what other the sugar water does is it's what they want to eat. So you spray that on them, and they'll go to eating that, and they'll be less worried about what's going on around. Them. Because when they were we gathering the down there, that's what they care about. And then they'll try to bunch up right here, and if the queen's not flying around here somewhere, and doesn't land back there again, and they'll start trying to come down here. We'll cut a hole, and they'll all just climb up into the box. Oh, well, the other day when there was twice as many the other day. And yes, ma'am. And just in the, I mean, they were there all day in just in a few minutes. A matter of five oh, yeah. minutes, they were gone. Well, what they do is uh, they're sending out scouts to go look for a new place to live if this is not suitable. And then as soon as one comes back and says, we found a place, and tells them where it's at, if the queen likes it, she'll go. And when she goes, everybody follows her. And it don't take but a matter of. I mean, just a short period okay. of time, and they're all gone. If the queen isn't in the box, what'll happen? Well, they're they're starting to cluster back up right there, yeah. and they probably will, even if the queen is in the box, because they don't know no other place to go just yet. But if we're sure we got the queen, then we'll cut a hole in the box, and the other ones will fan, putting their scent out, and then they'll come to the box, and they'll all crawl in it. It was uh, during the winter time. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, and see, they were already building comb right there on the windowsill. And, I mean, they were just about ready to, to, to build a nest right there. And they can get there. They're actually going behind that, that, that uh, siding. And so they may have been able to get in the wall. I'm not sure, but that's a possibility. Normally we can see them in the, in the uh, inside of the window. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah, there's a few inside. But that window is it, it's it's at an angle. 